Hey guys, I was just checking some stuff, found out my spindle speed's off on my Tormach 770 here. So let's break out the manual and figure out how to adjust that to get it straight on. Uh, it's, it's almost 10% off and that will really mess with your speeds and feeds. So let's fix it. instructions adjust that trim pot it'll affect the frequency on the VFD drive and uh, you need a good tachometer to get a reading with uh, there's some cheap ones at Harbor Freight mine happens to be a good one due to my day job uh, we, we use a lot of good test equipment so you know you might not have access to that you can get those that particular Monarch tech pretty cheap on eBay sometimes uh, mine happens to be calibrated and NIST traceable due to the work I do, but uh, that, that's why I trust it over anything that the uh, controller or the VFD is spitting out. You can also do the math. If the VFD is putting out a certain frequency, it's turning the motor a certain amount of times, and that's basically what they're doing when they send them from the factory, but they're wrong due to slip frequency. So stuff to keep in mind. Um, just get you a good tack. Tack that spindle because that's what the controller's telling it to do. It should be doing it, period. Um, I, personally, that's something that should be coming out of Tormach. You guys should be handling your business. Don't put out a, a, a machine that's turning 5,400 RPM whenever I tell it I want it to turn 5,000. You know, that's, that's 
you're going to have bad process controls there. That's why people are having to play with their speeds and feeds and everybody's coming up with different numbers. It, you know, if it's turning 5,000 RPM, you know, surface footage, depth of cut, you know, it, uh, your inch per tooth, that's all going to be consistent. But if somebody's comparing my apples to their oranges, it's not going to be. So anyway, I'm going to let the frogs be, let them have a good time. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy it. Hope it helped.